We're very pleased to have you here, Mr. Tatar, today with us in the framework of this three-day-long conference called Security, Democracy and Cities, organized by the European Forum for Urban Security. And actually, we're also very pleased that we had the chance to sign a memorandum of understanding with you. Uh, could you just please briefly present yourself, your association, and tell us maybe what are the key axes you work on? Uh, well, actually, we are an NGO and an unbiased NGO. Uh, established in 2010, so 11 years uh, ago, and uh, we work um, on uh, early warning and uh, early action in relations of uh, the four uh, crimes of mass atrocities, the genocide, ethnic cleansing, uh, war crimes and crimes against humanity, and for the last few years we have uh, paid a lot of uh, attention to the issues of radicalization. Uh, polarization not only globally in the world but uh, increasingly in Europe uh, in our uh, uh, central European region and uh, that was one of the aims uh, why we have started a cooperation with you because we do think that the uh, cities of central European uh, region will have to be included uh, in, in cooperation we have um, implemented uh, projects at community level uh, just uh, uh, some months ago and we have come to the conclusion that uh, we need to increase the level of these activities uh, to the level of the cities because the cities in my view in our view is uh, are much more fit for uh, um, collecting stakeholders for uh, including uh, people including NGOs uh, including governmental people and uh, I think so that this is the future so we need to we need to go uh, that uh, to that direction and that's why we do think so that we do have some common platform and put up a center for mass police prevention is uh, obviously ready to uh, provide all our means which are very I would say limited nevertheless uh, we do think so that we can we can do a lot uh, in this, uh, in this Thank you very much. And indeed, uh, in the framework of the conference, we had the chance to discuss some concrete steps of the collaboration, so how to potentially involve more uh, Central and Eastern European cities in FSC's network with your help in, in collaboration with you and to promote some key tools that can be very helpful to prevent and mitigate polarization, radicalization. Can you maybe mention some tools that you find particularly pertinent? Yes, uh, first of all, I just wanted to, uh, to add to this that um, we also spoke about the possibilities to organize uh, some, uh, some event uh, during the summer, during the spring, next uh, spring, uh, which will be related uh, more or less uh, to the issues of polarization, uh, how to fight against hatred uh, and uh, all these, uh, all these uh, matters. And hopefully in the second half of the year we, have, we shall have another uh, event related to that and these events will be also used for including cities uh, from, from, from Central Europe. Um, one of the main tools, just to give a concrete answer to your uh, rather concrete question, uh, is dialogue. Uh, and what we understand that dialogue uh, is a process uh, which um, could be uh, facilitated uh, in the case of um, uh, people, in the case of group of people, who have uh, uh, conflicts, are in conflict situation with each other, I would say who have some adversary sentiments to each other based on identity, so religion or ethnicity or nationality. And in this case, uh, the aim of this process is to change, to transform these human, adversary human relations into peaceful relations. And by this, we can create the conditions for much more concrete uh, cooperation, much more concrete uh, discussions, which then might lead to some compromises. Yes. But this is the first step to change the human relations. And that's what we would like to emphasize. And that's uh, the spirit what uh, I think so. We need to teach for the young people. And that's what we need to apply in the future much more, in particular in case of polarization, yes. hatred, that really the uh, human relations are adversary and uh, the group enemy and, uh, and enmities uh, yeah, is, uh, it 
this what have they developed definitely well and that it could be a very good occasion also to exchange good practices when it comes to the use of dialogue what worked what did not work and how can we transform what work and adapt to the different local uh, contexts so and let me just uh, add one more uh, thing uh, about the conference and i was very grateful that uh, i could uh, participate in it and I wanted to recommend uh, to the uh, cities in, in Hungary uh, to uh, use this opportunity to learn because uh, many cities have been represented at the conference and they, uh, the representatives of the, of the cities uh, have made a very intensive exchange of views and best practices and we can learn a lot uh, about the safety, about the security of, of, of cities and that's what we what they need need to improve also also in Hungary and maybe also in our in our uh, Central European region.